is going on everyone and welcome back to cart 63 or if it's your first time here welcome uh, my name is ben and we talk about all sorts of cart related things building carts tips and tricks tires blah 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 all sorts of stuff related to carting um this video today i'm i'm gonna get some footage today around the seat that I've already mounted. Now, uh, yes, it's it's this video is about seat mounting. Now, as it turns out, when I assemble a cart, kind of like when I work on cars, I have some uh, uh, unfavorable language that goes along with me doing stuff. I'm just one of those people that talks a lot, even to myself. And uh, I, I, I try not to swear on these videos, you know, for the, for the general public. So, I thought it might not be a good idea to uh, to use that footage, but what happened was I took my GoPro, I have a Hero 8 uh, that I'll be recording races with this year. I tried to use that and record mine. Maybe I can speed up. I think I have the ability to do that in editing uh, and just, it's kind of me speeding around. And maybe, you know, therefore I won't use some of the, uh, the audio for that. So if I can get that in there, cool. If not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down. I'm just going to point out a couple things in seat mounting that I do that may help you in, in doing so on your cart. So, uh, we're going to drop down, uh, I'm going to show you some stuff and then we'll pop back up for a conclusion. All right. See you in a minute. Okay, everyone, here we are looking at my, this is a 2022, this is 22, right? <laughs> um, Phantom uh, Scythe. So I've been assembling, as you can see, I uh, kind of ran out of time. Uh, we're starting to get to race season here. It is, in fact, April, and we're a couple of weeks away from starting day. So this is what my seat looks like mounted. Um, and there's just a, a couple things that I wanted to show you about mounting the seat. Obviously, uh, I kind of, I'm not sure if I can use the footage of me putting it in or not. But without the engine, you can see stuff like this better. So on every one of these stanchions here, there's a right rear here. There is a rubber grommet behind each one of these mounting. That is allow, allowing the, the set seat to flex and move. You don't want it super hard mounted. So as you can see in here, uh, there's actually uh, rubber in between. <clears throat> this right here, this is rubber. And it allows the seat to kind of uh, move as you do, so you're not binding the chassis. Now, depending on your manufacturer, they may have a required um, distance here. But uh, right here, the distance between the, the post and my seat, I find this comfortable. And it's also, I have a, you know, this is a UAS cart, so I'm going to have a large tank sitting here. Uh, that's why the side of the, the seat is actually cut off, because the large tank goes here to carry enough fuel. Uh, but I guess one of the, the tricks... Uh, that, that I wanted to show you is right here. So I don't know how well you're gonna see this. You don't want your butt uh, hitting the bottom pan. So you have, this is, uh, Phantom has these aluminum uh, belly pans here. There's actually a gap underneath, if you can kind of see that space. And how I got that gap was actually with this. I, this is, you know, just a, a scotch Bright. So I set this underneath the seat to at least create a little gap. You know, just I just want the seat a little off the bottom. So when you come down on, like you said, the or like I said, with the rubber grommets here, the seat's gonna kind of move. You know, it's not super solid. I also do the same thing back here, uh, and sometimes I fold it in half, and I'll put it in between the wolf plate. So you notice this distance is pretty similar isn't it because i had that underneath the seat up there and then this back here it kind of you can set your seat down and get a general idea of where to start drilling your holes this the seat was not a you know a virgin by any stretch of imagination i have numerous holes this came off a, a recon the uh, mounting holes are slightly different i've moved it a couple times so I had to do, drill a new set of holes for this one, and I got it nice and comfy for me. 
So I'm going to show you, I think uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my camera up and I'm going to actually show you sit show you <laughs> myself sitting in the seat. So give me a second. Okay. Here. As you can see, I got my, <laughs> I have my microphone um, uh, run here best I can all the way over. And one of my biggest things is regardless of scale settings, you can move the weight around to get your scale settings. You can increase cross, decrease cross, move the seed a little left, move it a little right, use a little lead weight in order to get your percentages. But the biggest deal for me is driver comfort. As you can see, I'm not laid way back. I'm not up forward. I'm not laid way to the side or anything like that. I'm in a nice neutral position. I've got my my uh, my eliminated steering wheel. This is one of the reasons I absolutely love these. This leaves my arms. I'm not extended out here. I'm not grabbing the the base of a standard wheel. Uh, the tilt steering wheels, you know, you get from manufacturers now are fine, but this gives you even more. You know, you can move it left or right, and then tip it towards you. Um, I don't know where they're available. If I can find find one, maybe uh, C High Performance still sells them. Um, but I find it. You know, the having this position here to where I'm doing as little as possible with my hands, and you know, it, uh, it makes for a smoother cornering experience to me. So, driver comfort. All right, I'm not, I'm not out of sorts. I'm not, you know, I'm not this and that. My hands are in a nice position. I take my my steering pin out here, and I know that steering the cart is going to be pretty easy for me, and. You're just gonna have to play around with stuff. Uh, what it comes down to, I don't, I don't think there's a you know a black and white scale for proper way to mount your seat. You're gonna have to mess around with it. You're gonna make sure your driver or yourself is is very comfortable in the seat, and then go from there. So uh, let's get you to a conclusion, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. All right. So as you can see. Uh, Seat mounting is sometimes a frustrating thing. The biggest thing I can tell you is, you know, regardless of anybody telling you this or that, you know, even stuff that I just told you, um, driver comfort is key. How far up you sit, if you can see over the steering wheel, things like that. If you're, you know, maybe if you're a lot smaller for your kid or, you know, if you're a father installing your seat. Driver comfort is key. You can move weight around to get percentages for your scaling. It is a lot easier than getting, say, your you know your seat out of shape. You know you don't want to be leaned over. You don't want to be too far up. You don't want to be you know way back here. You want to be in a nice neutral position to where you're comfortable in the seat, and that's the best way. And then kind of you know you can shimmy and move, and like I said, use uh, lead weight move that around to get your percentages correct. So uh, there you go. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and uh, I, I don't know if <laughs> if I'm gonna, in editing, drop it in the middle here or at the end. Maybe I'll put it at the end just as a, a sped up version of uh, me actually installing the seat on my cart. If I can do that, we'll see if it works out. But uh, all right, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. If you didn't mind, Hit a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you uh, really like this content. So thank you very much, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later. Okay, everyone. Uh, I'm taking this opportunity to try out my new GoPro. It's a GoPro 8. I know it's a bit dated, but it's brand new. I got it for Christmas this year. And uh, as I was assembling my cart... Uh, I got a little behind basically what it was and I needed to actually get something done. So I've been working away at the cart, getting it transferred over from the uh, recon over to the Sith um, or Scythe. I'm sorry. Um, and it, it occurred to me, hey, bud, you've been recording or you've been doing all this building. You haven't been recording. anything. <laughs> so I'm about to mount the seat. So I'm going to do what I can. Uh, to get some footage of this or at least give you, you know, a basic idea of how I mount a seat. The, the problem being is none of my seats are new. I'm not really drilling new holes unless I absolutely have to. I'm just basically mounting where I once had my recon, you know, set up there. But we'll, we'll see as I get it closer here. But uh, here's the, here's the scythe. 
um, as she as she sits now. I've been uh, cleaning, kind of going through, looking at stuff, and uh, just give you a general idea. I started to mount this. I got some new uh, I got some new hardware down here, some grade eight bolts for the uh, for the seat mounts there. So, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, back here. I'm gonna start to mount some stuff. Maybe I'll put the camera up on the tripod or something. I don't know. I'll do something, all right? <laughs> Catch you in a second.